Hello everyone, I'm Lujain Ktanish, a student at Faculty of Education, English Department. Welcome to my video about evaluating a game. This video was created as one of the Computer Assisting Language Learning requirements, which is taught by Dr. Intisar Sharif. I hope you would enjoy it. Are you tired of learning languages in the same old-fashioned way and you want to change? Or if you're no longer into reading books and novels and you just want to play with your PlayStation or your Xbox, something electronic, something modern, then this video was made for you, my friend. First of all, the game is called English Skills. It's not a regular game. It's a board killer. I've been playing it for over a month and I loved it, especially that it contains five categories. Also because the theme is not that complex, it's very simple, even kids can play it. The first one is use of English, the second definitions, the third word search, the fourth hangman, and the fifth and the last one is word order. And now, I'll show you the interface of the game. And as you can see, this game has a special feature, which is you can choose whatever level you want to play. And in each game, there are three levels. And you can choose whatever you want, either play in elementary, which is easy, or if you want it to be more difficult, you can choose intermediate or advanced. So, the first game, which is use of English. It's a multiple choices. You have to choose the suitable word that goes with the sentence. Also, in all the levels, if your answer was correct, you'll find that the rating you get depends on the time you took to answer the question. And this question I intentionally answered in the last seconds to show you the rating and how it depends on how fast I answer. The second game, Definitions, is also a multiple choices question, but the difference is that you get the definition of the word or its meaning and you have to choose the word. And now we go to the third game, a word search. It's the funniest part of the game. You don't have to recognize all the words or their meaning. You just need to find the word either if it was organized as a column or horizontal. Now we go to the fourth game, Hangman. If you like puzzles, all that kind of games, then this game was made for you. But for me, I didn't like it a lot. I struggled, <laughs> literally, I struggled to play it several times. However, they give you a hint and you should guess the correct word depending on the gaps you see below the hint. Therefore, in every mistake you make, the painting of the hangman leads you to the end of it, until he dies, and if he dies, you lose. Last but not least, the fifth game, World Order. In my opinion, I find it the most joyful game. It's about reordering the sentence in a correct structure. You'll find nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, However, in my point of view, I assume that even 10 years old kids of non-natives can play it with pleasure. But to be honest, the only nuisance in it 
is the ads. If you play while your Wi-Fi is connected, you will be interrupted by lots, lots, lots of ads. Therefore, if you want to get rid of this feature, which is the ads, you can purchase it from the App Store and you can pay um, about $9 and then you can say goodbye to the ads. In addition, all the reviews about the app were positive, but they're mentioning the ads and how it is impossible to turn it off unless you pay for it. So the game is not all of it free. To sum up, if you like the game and it is features and you want to download it, you'll find it available at App Store and Play Store. The name of it is written on the screen, so hurry up and download it and enjoy. Goodbye.